Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. I'm going to talk to you guys about dental hygienists and how you can start your own practice here in Ontario. I'm going to talk specifically if you want to start your own practice in your own home. Simple, easier. You don't have to worry about paying extra rent for an office space, having to deal with plumbing, all of that. You can have your own practice in your own home. You just simply purchase a compressor unit with an air, water, suction, a chair, and of course, some other things that I will talk to you guys about, but it is a lot easier. And I'm also going to talk to you about how to start your own mobile dental hygiene practice, where you go into patients' homes using that same compressor that you would purchase for your own home with the air, the water, the suction, the ultrasonic piezo. You can bring that to your patients' homes as well. You would purchase a different chair, but I go through all of that. And that's what I do. So I see patients in my own home and I also see patients in their own home. I'm going to go step-by-step step on how I did that. I do have a full course, Mo, um, Mobile RDH Academy, where I'm going to leave the link for you guys at the bottom there which goes through everything because I can talk about this for hours and hours and hours but for the purpose of this video I'm going to give you guys the basics. So in Ontario you do need to be a self-initiated dental hygienist. Look that up if you're not sure what that is. In order to be self-initiated you do need to be practicing as a dental hygienist for a certain number of years or a certain number of hours. So if you haven't graduated yet you cannot just jump in to have your own practice, but you can speed line the process by getting a mentor with the CDHO where somebody would mentor you to become self-initiated quicker. What I did was I did have enough hours, but I think I was maybe shy. I, I don't know, a certain amount. I can't remember exactly the specifics, but when I became a self-initiated um, self dental hygienist, I want to say in 2016, but I could be wrong. Things were different. You did have to take a course. So I took a course through the CBHA, which was a very easy course, but it does take time though. You can't just take the course overnight. It took me about a month. I studied after work. I took the test, but once you pass that exam through that course, you are now a self-initiated dental hygienist. They will send in your self-initiated certificate through the mail. You can start your own business. That's what you need in Ontario. So I can leave the link for you guys down below. Um, that's what you have to do first is look into being self-initiated. Um, the only other thing is some people think about, do I want to be a sole proprietor? Do I want to be incorporated? Don't worry about that yet. Be a sole proprietor. It's easier. It's simple. Stick with that first. And you do need a master business license. Very easy to fill out on Ontario.ca. I believe there's a $60 fee. It might have gone up now since I did mine, but you need a master business license. You need that when you go to the bank to take out a business loan if you need one. I did. For me to get my practice going, I took out about it was either $25,000 or $30,000 to get everything started because I wanted to buy some major items such as a sterilizer. You can have your own sterilizer. You can use one in a dental office if you have the hookup, um, but I wanted my own because I did plan to do this on my own full time. You can either work in a dental office part time and do your own thing part time. So then you might be able to use a sterilizer in a dental office. Sterilizers run at about $10,000. So that was the big chunk of my $30,000 loan that I did have to take out. And then you need to look into purchasing a compressor. This is needed. Air, water, suction, it comes all included. It's the most amazing thing. Um, feel free to search my YouTube channel. I do have a full video as well on the compressor that I have. It's the aseptico compressor. I can leave a note for that as well on the bottom for you if you want some additional information on that. But that runs at about $8,000. So see how it can quickly add up. And then the other things such as your own patient chair. If you're traveling to patients' homes, you don't wanna bring that one. You want to bring a portable chair. So you're going to need to purchase that. You're going to need to purchase instruments. 
a cart for all of your stuff if you're traveling mobile. I, I help you guys with all of that. If you need extra help, the Mobile RDH Academy, I do have the link for you guys down below. I go through exactly what I have. So if you're very overwhelmed, because it is an overwhelming process. Sorry, guys, my puppies are playing down there, if you can hear them. Um, I go through literally everything I have. Feel free to copy me. That is completely fine. I go through every single thing step by step. Even inside the course, I have at least five videos of literally when I first got started. So after I had that appointment at the bank, I have a video where I had documented everything. I remember I, I had just watched the video the other day and I said, okay, guys, I just had an appointment with the bank. I am overwhelmed. Things are going to cost a lot more money. So I go through all of that. So it's kind of like we're going through it together, but you have full support. So those are just some of the basics to get started. The cost, what you have to do as a dental hygienist, you need to be self-initiated to have your own business. You need to have a master business license and you do need to make the CDHO aware, but not necessarily right away because they're going to know or assume that's your goal when you sign up to be self-initiated in your self-assessment portion of the SMILE portal, that is when we update the practice that we are working in. You're going to mention you are self-initiated. You're going to mention you have your own business, but I can help you guys with that later. The first step is to be self-initiated if you already are. The second step is to have a master business license. And then guess what? You can start your own practice. I can help you with that. I go through the littler things inside the course too, as making your own website. You don't have to pay $8,000 to have your own website. I teach you guys how to make your own, the very basics, the very, very basics. So you don't have to spend a million dollars. I teach you guys about making a Facebook group or a, or a Facebook page, whatever you prefer for your business. That's how I get all my clients, my Facebook business page. Easy, it's free. I teach you guys that. I teach you guys marketing, advertising, how to get clients. How much do I charge? How much, you know, how do I get clients? How do I talk to them? How do we fill out the medical histories? So I go through all of that inside the course if you guys need additional help, okay? So thank you guys. Let me know if any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.